Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Medspiration. The foods we choose to eat every single day can either be the most potent form of medicine or the slowest form of poison. Our choices of the quality, quantity, and frequency of meals drastically changes the good bacteria in our GI system. We've learned that these commensal microbes have co-evolved to play fundamental roles in human brain development and brain function. Now bear in mind, we're made up of 10 to 100 times more microbial cells than we are human eukaryotic cells. So, when I choose to eat this apple, my gut will be in constant communication with my brain via the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is the 10th cranial nerve that connects the mind to the heart, lungs, and the upper GI tract, amongst others, in the abdomen and the chest. Mm. As the food I've eaten leaves my stomach, it enters the small intestine. The interior wall of the small intestine is lined with millions of microscopic projections called villi. These increase the surface area of the gut and make it easier to absorb nutrients. First, the pancreas pumps out a juice that neutralizes stomach acid. Then, bile from the liver breaks down the fat into tiny droplets. Smaller droplets are easier for the intestine to absorb. It then enters the large intestine through this, the ileocecal sphincter, a valve that keeps our food from going back to where it came from. What's left is a mixture of waste food and dead cells from the walls of the gut. The large intestine's main job is to extract water from it. This is also where the majority of our family of one trillion bacteria reside, reflecting over 10,000 unique species and contributing to 150 times more genes than our own human genome. Collectively, these microbes will weigh twice the weight of the adult human brain and they're often referred to as the second genome or the second brain. Unlike with inherited genes, it's possible to positively reshape and even reconstruct the second genome when we choose to eat cleaner and healthier foods. This is part of the reason why individuals who eat super healthy and work out on a consistent basis not only look healthier, but also feel healthier and happier on the inside. The food we put into our body directly alters how we behave. As a matter of fact, the gut endocrine system produces neuropeptides and neurotransmitters which can improve or depreciate the brain's communicative behavior. This includes links to autism and ADHD-like behaviors. Our diet also alters how we react to stress, which includes how patients respond to treatment for depression and anxiety, as well as our likelihood of developing allergies and contracting autoimmune diseases. This means that not only are we made up of mainly microbial cells, but that some of these cells can be truly mind-altering, affecting our brain development, function, and even our behavior. If you'd like a list of the 41 healthiest foods in the world ranked by the CDC, be sure to click right here and check out one of our last videos in our nutrition series. That's it for today, folks. If you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to click subscribe and become a part of the healthiest family on YouTube. We'd love to have you. Thank you guys. I really appreciate the time. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace. Hey guys. So I made this video because one of our followers on Instagram recommended it to us. So if you have any ideas that are medically related on videos that you would like to see, uh, please comment below and let us know and I'll see what I could do. All right. Thanks.